as well as my friends, family, and readers here. Good boy. My two greatest passions in life are playing music with my band, Kaiser Chiefs. Ruby, 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 Ruby. And creating cool, awesome artworks. Art can mean different things to different people. So I've invited some mates down to my studio to show me what they like. Then I'll show them amazing art from all around the UK and from you at home too. Plus, I'll make some art to surprise my guests with. That is so good. Popping into my studio this time is one of the world's most famous vloggers, Joe Sugg. Hi, Ricky, it's Joe. His Thatcher Joe YouTube channel has had an incredible 1.3 billion viewers. And in 2018, Joe was Strictly Come Dancing runner-up with his now girlfriend, Diane. But now he's here with me to chat all things art. Welcome to Art Jam. Do you like the place? I, do you know what? I love it. It's great, it's, isn't it? It's so cool. I, I'm staring at everything. Here, it's all about expressing yourself being creative and having fun while doing it. All things I know you love to do when you're making your online videos. Exactly. I'm so glad that people enjoy watching me and, and the shenanigans that I get up to, and it's really good to encourage them to be creative as well. Now, I've asked you to bring in three objects that are really special to you. Yes. Can we have a look? So... Ah. Oh. This is a, uh, a travel sketchbook, so yeah. it's, it's small, it's bendy, it can uh -huh. fit my bag wherever I go. These are some drawings that I did on a train ride recently. They're brilliant. Um, I've got an alien up here with, like, gas coming out of his head. We've got an old man down here. I really love your style of drawing. It's so intricate. Can you teach me how to draw like that? I would love to. Okay. Can we give it a go? Yeah, let's give it a okay, go. OK, let's do it. Right. OK. So draw two eyes, any style you want. Any style I want. Any style. When you draw the eyes, you can almost instantly gauge, usually, what emotion you're going for with the pictures. That's always the best way for me to start. You know your name on the internet? Yes. Is Thatcher Joe. Thatcher Joe, yes. Why is that? When I was younger, I really wanted to become what's known as a roof thatcher. You know in the countryside you see those old cottages yeah. with, the, with the roofs made out of straw? Yeah. That was my job. Oh, wow. One of the best things about it was we get to make an animal out of straw to put on the top. So I've made pheasants out of straw, I've made owls, I've made ducks. And, That's um, incredible. All right, I'm ready. OK, three, two, one. Oh, amazing! Oh, I really like yours. That's awesome. Is yours based on me? Um, no, 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 definitely right, not. Then. Right, let's move on to your second item. I'm very excited. Second item is... That's amazing. This. This is a, a model of a camper van. My sister actually got me this for a, a birthday present. Mm. Ever since I was a young boy, I've loved building things. And when you look back and think, I made that with my own two hands, there's no better feeling. And Zoella, who gave you that, yes. is a famous online star too. What was it like growing up together? When we were kids, we used to borrow our parents' camcorders and make our own plays and films and stuff. So we were always working together on making things um, and being artistic. And this was all in the countryside? Yeah, in the countryside. Um, I grew up next to uh, like a big woodland area. I'm a big explorer. I love getting out in the countryside, exploring, building dens. Amazing. Building jumps for my bikes. Like, that was my, that was my childhood. Sounds perfection. Now you live in London. How's that been, the change? It's very different. It's so busy. I'm a big people watcher. I like to sometimes sit down and observe other people and what they do. And sometimes I think, I wonder if they could be like a character, for example, in the sketchbook. I love the camper van, but now we have to move on to your third object you brought in for me. Now this is a plasticine model. And you made this? I made this, yeah. Wow. It took me about two hours. I've always been a huge fan of plasticine as a tool for creating art. It's brilliant. When I was younger, every Saturday morning I'd go to uh, an animation club. Did you? Yeah, in my local leisure centre. And that's how I learned how to make models. And then what you do is you move it ever so slightly, like that much, take a photograph, move it again, take a photograph. So you put all the photographs together, uh -huh. and then when you hit play, it plays through all the photographs, and then it makes the characters come to life and move. That's amazing. It's like when you watch Wallace and Gromit, especially the early Wallace and Gromit films, when Wallace is talking, you can see the thumbprints on his face change in each picture. Brilliant. Which I think is great. I think it because it also shows that what you make doesn't have to be perfect to still be successful and still be appreciated. Joe, I love all the three items you brought in, and crucially, I think they tell me a little bit more about you. You love drawing, creating characters, telling stories throughout, and having fun. Yep. 
And with that in mind, I'd like to open your eyes to some amazing art from all around the UK. But while I'm gone, I've got a challenge for you. OK. I've left you a sketch pad there, right. some pencils, some colours, and I'd really love it if you could draw my dog, Redus. OK. Are you up for the challenge? I'm up for it. Challenge accepted. I'll see you later, Joe. Cheers, bye. As Joe's a fan of cool characters, my first art pick is right up his street. Literally. The wonderful thing about public street art is you never know what you're going to find. It can be something huge and extraordinary, something small and extravagant, or even something extraterrestrial. A mysterious artist named Invader has been making these little alien artworks and hiding them in cities all over the globe. These creatures remind me of characters in old video games. They're mosaics made out of ceramic tiles, which make them look like pixels on an old computer screen. These little aliens are invading our streets. There are 25 in Newcastle, 47 in Manchester, and 150 in London. I've got a lot of searching to do. My second pick for Joe is a stained glass window at London's majestic Westminster Abbey. But how it was designed is super modern. Legendary British artist David Hockney drew the colourful picture on a tablet computer. 35 glass panels were then handmade to create this 8.5 by 3.5 metre artwork called The Queen's Window, which celebrates the reign of our Queen and her love of the countryside. For someone like Joe, who loves drawing and the countryside, this window is a winner. But hang on. I've still got one more art pick and I've travelled to Scotland to see it. Welcome to Edinburgh. Look, there's the iconic castle. But I'm here to visit a place called Camera Obscura and World of Illusions, a place that makes art that messes with your mind. Welcome to the weird and wonderful... Ames Room. This is unlike any room you'd have at home. The floor and the ceiling are built at different angles. It tricks the eye into thinking both sides of the room are the same. I'm now further away from you, and the ceiling is higher, so I look smaller. If I go here, I'm much closer to you, and the ceiling is lower, so I look bigger. When they made the Lord of the Rings films, they used this technique to make Gandalf the wizard look really big. And the hobbits so small. You see, it's cleverly designed spaces like this to make you realise just how fun, interactive and surprising art can be. Hiya, Joe. How are you doing? How was the trip? It was amazing. It was brilliant. But how did you get on? I did all right. I think, I, hopefully, I think readers would like it. Let's have a look, then. That is Reedus. Do you like it? Yeah, it's amazing. You've really caught his character. I gave him a little tongue poking out. I saw that. That's like, yeah. that's not on the photograph, but you've added that. I've added it in, yeah. Little Joe Sug touch there. While you've been drawing Reedus so brilliantly, I've found three awesome pieces of art to show you. Would you like to have a look? I'd love to see, yeah. Follow me. OK. OK, Joe, now here's the first thing that I found for you. These are all over the place. It's street art and there's an unknown guy who goes around putting these everywhere. I'm a big fan of street art. I love going around London and seeing all the different art pieces on the walls, spray paints, graffiti, I love that kind of stuff. So I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for Invader's work next time I'm out and about around London. Check this out. This is Westminster Abbey and it's by David Hockney. I have heard of David Hockney before and I do like his stuff and I think that stained glass is a whole new skill in itself, I think. I'd love to know how to make stained glass windows. Third pick for you, it's a bit of a wild card. <gasps> Check that out. I've actually done one of these before. Have you? I was on holiday um, in New Zealand with my friends. It's all about perception and perspective, and it still just goes straight over my head. So, Joe, which is your favourite? It'd have to be Invaders on the end. I like the retro-ness of it. I'm quite nostalgic at heart, so I like that. And I think I'm also really intrigued. I want to get out around London now and try and spot them all. Awesome, but the art doesn't stop here. I've got something extra special to show you next. Joe, we all know you've got tons of fans who are inspired by you, your videos and your love of art. Would you like to see some of the art that my art jammers have made and sent in for you? Oh, I'd love to. Let's have a look. Hi, Joe. This 
is the picture of you. I think you look cheeky. Oh. <laughs> That's really cool. That is brilliant. It's really good drawing. It's really good, and he's correct. I look cheeky. You do. This is my picture of you, in which I included lots of things that you like. I hope you like it. Oh, wow. That's really cool. That's awesome. That's amazing. I love the fact as well that it's so detailed. Like, when you look at it, you can tell straight away that that's me, yeah. which I love. I absolutely love art. It's the sole reason that you put your own imagination and thoughts onto a blank canvas. Oh, wow. wow. That's really 3D, isn't it? It looked, I thought it was. They've got kind of like the mixed media going on because they've got the newspaper clippings and stuff behind as like a backdrop, which I think is really cool. I think that Joe is a very inspiring person. My image is basically things that Joe is inspired by. That's a really good drawing of a camper van. It's so cool. And it's, ha it's in the lens of a camera, so they've done a, a piece of art within a piece of art. Joe, there's so much more of this to see. So you sit here, relax, and watch the TV. And while he does that, I'm going to pop to my art studio. I adored the arty objects that Joe brought in to show me. His sketchbook, the toy camper van, and the modelling clay all show me that Joe really loves bringing characters to life. So, I've set myself the challenge of making an artwork that recreates his life story in miniature. Small enough to fit inside this glass bowl. Creations like these are called terrariums, which means mini gardens. Any old jam jar or bowl will do. Even a fish tank would work. Just make sure the fish have got a new tank to go to first. Let's start filling it with my lovely ingredients. First things first, we add a layer of stones to the bottom. Gravel from the garden centre will work perfectly. Now comes the soil or compost. Please ask an adult to give you some. Don't just go digging up the garden. This terrarium is going to be split into two halves. On one side, I'm going to do the countryside, where Joe grew up. And on the other side, London, where he lives now. Let's start with the countryside. I'm using small houseplants to create a lovely mini forest. You can use any you like the look of. It's starting to look good already. Now for the fun part. Joe spent his childhood making dens and climbing trees in the countryside. So I'm going to add some props to remind him of those days. I'm going to use these guys. This is going to be Joe, and this is going to be his sister, Zoe. Now for Joe to go in, sat on his rock. There you go. For a nod to his nickname, Thatcher Joe, I'm going to put a little thatched cottage in the countryside scene. I found this offcut of wood that I painted white, and I put windows and a door on it, and a thatched roof. Now I'm just going to pop it in the countryside underneath a tree. We're on to the city part now, and to make the divide, I've made the River Thames out of tinfoil with blue on it. Perfect length. I'm going to put some plants in the city side as well, because there is greenery in the town centres. I bet you thought you'd never see gardening on Art Jam. That's the beauty of it. Art can be anything. Instead of moss on the city side, I'm going to use small bits of gravel to make it more concrete. All I've got to do now is make a tower block for Joe to live in. There we go. Now for the star of the show, Joe. Let's have him giving us a twirl on the roof of the tower block with his girlfriend and strictly partner, Diane. There we go. Ta-da! That looks great. I'm really happy with that, and Joe is going to love it. Let's go and find out, shall we? Joe, I've been working really hard on making some art just for you. Are you ready to take a look? I'm ready. OK, in three, two, one. Oh, my word! That is amazing. I love it. I like it. Very cool. You made that yourself? I did, yeah. Oh, my word. It's called a terrarium, and I built it in two halves with a river going right down the middle. This side represents your life in the country, this side your new life in London. I love it. We've got like a jungle going on here. We've got me sat down there. We've got Zoe there in the countryside. Oh, we've got a little thatch roof. That's so brilliant. And then me and Diane on top of the roof in the city. That's so awesome. Thank you so much. 
It's a pleasure, Joe, and it's been a pleasure having you on Art Jam. Enjoy your art. Thank you so much.